Morning girls, how we doing? We are back here with Chantal Marie, Beauty the Beauty, Beauty of the Merriam of the Reverts, and this is the best pasta in the world is not in Italy. Mark Bang. Because one, we gotta start with just a lie again, I guess. Remember, this is the woman who's never been to Italy, uh, has never been outside of Canada or Kuwait. Not I'm neither place really, I think, overly well known for their pasta, but you know, whatever, pop off there. Um, we're back to Mark Bang and the diet is dead it's over we're not even pretending anymore i guess that's good uh don't really know anything about this one because it only just came out too long ago it's really struggling to get any views i thought i'd quickly just pop out a reaction to the second i got home so i guess let's just get straight into it guys it's 18 minutes long which is starting to get up there <laughs> um, obviously i'm gonna cut out all the noises so that's fine we're at 1.25 speed let's go well hello guys good well, day hello good day. guys so today I am having- Please like the video! Please! Please like the video! Uh, uh, foodie, uh, likes, likes and dislikes are- they're- they're turned- they're turned off still? So, yeah, not- not really applicable- Why does she do that? <laughs> Is she actually simple? Does she not realize that likes and dislikes being turned off means it doesn't matter for the algorithm anymore? <laughs> She's actually still- She must be so upset because- I've never turned off likes and dislikes because I don't know, I'm not thin skinned. <laughs> so maybe if you turn off likes and dislikes, you can still see if people rate likes and dislikes. I don't, I have no idea. Um, because I'm assuming people who hate her still just hit dislike anyway, and probably still hurts her feelings that videos are being disliked, <laughs> even though it's not affecting the algorithm. Something oh, that's a nice noise. Thank you for that. So delicious. Oh, yep. You were not That's my pasta! Mukbangs, like, okay, I realize this is just pure feeder shite, so it's not really like a true mukbang, but mukbangs are generally like, you know, here's my artistically displayed food, and so lovely to even look at, it's a feast for the eyes as well as the mouth, that kind of shit. Was her, she's like, I, I don't know, I got stuff, and uh, there you go, it just plunks it down in front of us. <laughs> not even gonna believe it, okay. Wow. This is called macarona bechamel. Macaroni oh. with bechamel. She's a Italian as well as French, fantastic. Okay. And this is- It looks like lasagna. <laughs> is that just a lasagna there, love? This, um, Arabic style, Egyptian, for, this is from an Egyptian restaurant. Yep, sure. Um, and I have a little bit of bread to eat it with, I know. I, 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 I know. Do you? <laughs> have you gone to the diabetic class yet? I'm assuming not. Is it just like pasta with like a layer of macaroni on top? Carb upon carb, right? So yep. check this out. You're gonna die. I need a bite right now, bismillah. I need a bite right now. Yeah, I know you're fat. Um, it looks like just like pasta with a sheet of lasagna over the top of it. Is that it? Okay. I guess she likes it because it does look like a ridiculous amount of cheese. Beauty bite. I want to die. That was the worst thing I've ever seen. Ah, you guys are lucky I cut that shit out. That was just an experience. Oh my god. I was so hungry. Like, imagine you're like, this is the best. Pasta in the whole world, because it's Middle East pasta, but Middle East is best vibes, guys. You understand by this point, literally everything in the Middle East is just better than literally everything everywhere else, because... Eh, I really hope I say that, they keep giving me a visa, I think that's how this works. But you have this, the nicest pasta's ever existed. And look at, look how dry that bread is. Like, I've never seen, like, pita, like a naan kind of bread, I've never seen it look so dry. Usually it looks like nice and fresh, which is our favorite word. Why would you like mix these two? Uh, is this like part of your dozens upon dozens of freezer bread because you just keep buying bread and for some reason during every shopping haul go, ah, I'm gonna put this in the freezer guys though, it'll keep. It's like, why? You buy bread every week, why do you need freezer bread too? So. Yeah, we're back to just eye contact while eating. I was so hungry. <laughs> okay. Wow, that's so weird that you're just always hungry. I never knew no one uh, 450 pound woman who is consistently fucking starving. It doesn't seem like possible. It looks like your body could go for like a month or two before starving would even be a term we need to throw around. What are you talking about? I'm so hungry, guys. You're greedy. <laughs> Stop it. So this macaroni dish, oh you see at the bottom here, has meat. You can see at the bottom, it says like violent fingering. Meat has black olives. Meat has black olives? Meat has black olives. Fucking... <laughs> She's an Italian English French woman. Cut some kind of ziti looking pasta. Bechamel sauce that is seasoned with nutmeg. 
Wow. And then topped with mozzarella cheese. So you're not and bechamel that sauce. House. It's actually a French sauce, but it's very popular. This macaroni with bechamel and the. Yeah, it's, I'm. I'm not really seeing what the Middle East is. Uh, there's olives in it. Okay, that could be Italian. <laughs> could be Italian. Could be anywhere in the Mediterranean. Um, Arab cuisine. Yeah. Do you want to tell me and, what's um, actually? And... Do you want to tell me what's actually Arab about it? Like you're literally just being like, "Hi, it's a bunch of pasta with a French sauce with French cheese and some olives." It's like, okay, anything that makes it special, or is this just one of your lies again? It's just a sauce made out of like a roux, butter, flour, and milk. Wow. Do you know what? I'm, I'm going to take food advice or food history from someone who makes that face while eating pasta. And nutmeg. Mm -mm -mm. But I like eating it with bread. I don't know why. I've never heard bread sound so dry when you pull it away. I, I don't know why I like eating it with bread. Because that's your entire existence. It's why you're losing toes. I know people are going to be outraged at the carb carbs in here but are people gonna be so like i haven't eaten like literally no one cares like you're the only one. i was about to lie there and say you're the only one who cares about you you don't even care about you why do you think i would <laughs> people are gonna be so outraged cast me if you want guys yeah i didn't want after the worm food thing i was like you know what i i think i might forget what the is she eating pasta with bread oh, cancel this lady and so <laughs> you're insane woman i don't know why i do this to myself you're fat low self-control low that? self-esteem Hate yourself. And straight away, you Unders started working on... Hate yourself, like, understandably hate yourself. Uh, the spare room? Sure. Howie's room? Your bedroom. It's a weird way to say my bedroom. I'm gonna... Mm -hmm. I need some drink. I need drink! Diet so... Yep, I believe you. It's so... Apart from, like, obviously it's just there to waste time. It's so creepy. Just the, the, the uh, darting eyes looking at us like a fucking scared animal in front of her car. <laughs> Specifically her car. Oh, no. Sure. Wow, is that why you jump cut and didn't show us the label at all? I love she's, like, looking at us to check to see if chat believes her that this is definitely for real diet soda, guys. You know, just, like, those Doritos. My favorite part was, like, she made a... She did it on one of her live streams recently. She was talking about how she can't buy Doritos because... Uh, I couldn't control myself around them, even though on a previous live stream, she actually claimed that Salah ate all of the Doritos and she didn't actually get to have any of them because Salah had eaten them all in one night. So I was like, okay, so you were just lying to us. Just like, why would I believe you that this is diet soda? <laughs> Did she even buy diet soda? I don't remember that in the grocery haul. But at the same time, she just accidentally pulled out a box of Oreos and went like, uh, 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 these are for Sa Salah? Salah, do you, do you like, do you like these? Because she had no idea. She'd accidentally just opened the wrong bag on camera. Wow. Oh, thanks. Thank you for pulling back into frame. Because I was about to say, look, this is all looking really shitty here. I'm glad you pulled the Pepsi back into frame. Whereas wouldn't have looked like a high art mukbang. But yeah, it's reorganized. It's the problem is there's still no room in there. It's like Tetris in there. So it's not reorganized in any way then. If you went in to clean it, to tidy it up, to make room, and you didn't make any room, then you didn't do a good job. We have, like, six suitcases. Why? A game. Why do you have six suitcases? Like, I know you use two for some reason every time you travel, but why do you need six? A gaming desk, a bed, why a is dresser. Why a gaming desk? A huge dresser, a big couch. Big couch? It's not even a small couch. It's a big couch, guys. Imagine doing this thing where you're talking about your secret bedroom, and you have to also try and flex that the couch is really big. In there. Mozzarella. Mozzarella also. I actually, that, I believe that more than anything. I believe that more than there being a big couch in there. I believe that there is definitely mozzarella in that guest bedroom. Okay, bro, you're so cool. You're so amazing. It's definitely your bedroom. Why are we doing this? I'm assuming it's because, I don't know, you realize how silly this looks and you want to get rid of the treadmill and put it back in there, I assume. Yeah, guys, you're definitely going to make a gym in there, guys. Don't you real this time? Is that going to be the Christmas storyline? Her pretend to actually be setting up this gym now? Anyway. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, anyway, pasta. This pasta. And Salah has one, too. Uh, yep, that sounded genuine. <laughs> this pasta. Oh, yeah, also, and Salah has one. He, he, uh, yeah, he, he does. Bro, if you're about to say you like this pasta and it's really nice, it's yes. It's double carbs with shit old dry bread, but you're just addicted to bread, so I guess you don't care. And lots and lots of cheese. Of course you're gonna like it. So for two of these pastas, you get two and it of fills these pastas. you up, obviously. 
Well, apparently not. You need two of them. <laughs> For two of these, you're on your second one. Because she's going to try and pretend to me that Salah really likes that. I'm going to say, Salah doesn't like anything but meat and rice. I've, I've seen him eat. That's all he cares about. He definitely doesn't give a shit about bechamel sauce. And it's free delivery. Two of them, two KD. Are you broke? Guys, it's free. It's I had, I literally had to buy this, guys, because it was only 2KD for two with free delivery. Is that because Salah brought it home at the end of his shift, this Uber Eats driver man? So two trays like this for 2KD? Oh. It's uh, her desperate pleading eyes. Like she is desperately trying to convince me that this matters in any way. Bro, your argument is that you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's your whole thing for this weight loss arc, is that you're literally dying and your life is ruined. So you go, but I had to get this double, triple lasagna because it was cheap. <laughs> okay. I'll put the conversion here, but... I don't care. What are you doing? Wow. It's like cancer. Every single time she says that, I just feel like I'm 1% closer to the end. My cat? Jeez. I think she's the queen of the castle, and she is. You know, people say, get her a cat tree. <laughs> yeah. I have nowhere to put a cat tree, unfortunately. Then stop trying to boast about how incredible your apartment is. <laughs> I can't even put it up. Yeah, you can. Get one, rid of one of your apart four couches that you have in there. Especially when you don't have guests. Because preferably near a window, right? There, I don't have any Why? room here. But she doesn't really need Dude. one because she climbs everything. It's so sad that they have this fucking dining room table. But she has to put a separate table on top of, and they literally never eat together. She has a table in this room, because she can't do it in her, her own bedroom, obviously, because then it will show that it is literally just her own bedroom. So she has to have this as her live stream table. And you just sit there like a big old fucking toad, and it has to be relatively co close to the couch so you can waddle over and fall over to it. And for some reason, you can't get rid of one of the three couches that are there, even though literally no one comes over. And you've admitted yourself that literally no one comes over. So why can't you get a cat tar for the cat? Is it because people want you to get one and you just, I don't know, immediately just don't do what people want? The other day. The other day, I, I ate an entire block of cheese. Her sitting on top of the sink. Um, there's like a top shelf. Wow. I, could, I can't even reach her up there if I wanted to. Wow. In a giant pot, empty pot. It's clean. Wow. <laughs> well, it's not clean now because the cat's in it. I also know that's where your fairy liquid is. Your fairy liquid's up there. If you can't reach up there, I think it just proves to me that you don't actually cook or clean or anything like that. But I store my big pots that I don't use very often up there. Uh-huh. Then why? Well, I get Salad to put it up there for me because I can't reach. Sure. It also, isn't it just sad to realize that most people would get like a little step or something like that? You know, like Amberlynn needed to get into um, the... the Tommy feet or whatever the fuck the person's called. They're like Jeep. She needs a little step. Is it sad that Chantel couldn't even get on like a little stool or something like that to reach up there? She literally would go through any piece of furniture in that house. I'm I'm five one and he's six two or however tall he is. Uh -huh. Above six feet. Sure. Remember when you said that scale? <laughs> that scale in the science museum was the most accurate thing that's literally ever existed out ever and literally proves that you couldn't possibly be lying about your weight whatsoever and also you own all the haters. Ah, you're so incredible and cool. But that, it put him at being like 5'10". <laughs> do, you, do, you do, you, do you remember that? Do you remember that? Anyway. I wanted to vent about... Oh. Um. Something I... I want to vent about certain bitches being dead and being worm food. Yeah, I just want to happen to vent about that. It's totally not unnatural for me. Usually I'm just such a nice, calm, and polite person. What are you going to vent about this time? Diet soda? <laughs> I'm going to complain about full fat sugar soda not being diet soda. I saw it on TikTok. Wow. Hi. I love literally any time she fucking goes near this cat. The cat even comes within arm's reach of her. She, you see her desperately reaching to grab the camera to like turn the camera to face the cat to like prove it to the haters. The whole time making eye contact with the camera, just staring at it. It was on one of her live streams. She was like cuddling her cat. And the whole time she's like, you're my mom, aren't you? You're mom. And I'm your mom. And you're my mom. And you're mom. I'm just staring coldly into the camera 
the entire time. The whole time she's like pretending to like snuggle with her cat. She is just staring into the fucking camera, muttering about being each other's mother. <laughs> just, I don't know if Freud would maybe have a fucking field day with that shit. <laughs> it was the weirdest shit. I think it was. Somebody said, if you don't want to be criticized in life, do nothing and say nothing. And I think it's, huh? you know, the credit goes to Aristotle, but I don't actually think it was him who said that. <laughs> Me, worldly traveler of uh, foodie beauty. I, re I realize many people credit Aristotle. However, based on my extensive research, I believe it would be more like uh, Theseus, the, the first counselor of Rome. I believe he may have been the one who actually said it. Some people mistakenly show their ignorance by saying it's Aristotle. Foodie, fuck up. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who you think mistakenly may or may not have been. Whatever you're about to talk about here is probably going to be stupid because if you're going to try and flex that you do stuff, it's like mm -hmm, people, you know, people who are afraid of criticize should just do nothing and say nothing. But I, I do so much and that's why everyone criticizes me. People criticize you actually because you do nothing and say you do a lot. I don't know, pick a philosopher or whatever. Can you name more than one, please? <sighs> Because I was like, don't talk about this, Chantal. You're going to be criticized to high heavens. Whatever. Oh, Chantal violently fighting back the reaction channel. I was like, I'm saluting you, Foodie Beauty. I love you. You're so brave for facing up against the evilness of the internet because you're so empathetic or cool or whatever the fuck we're going to pretend to be here. Everyone has an opinion, right? Yep, just so, like assholes, and some of them are really dirty. Oh, too much cheese in this one bite. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear myself say that. <laughs> I'm dying. Up, up. This has been showing up on my FYP. <laughs> this family, this woman. She oh my F FYP. Do you mean your feed or your timeline? What the fuck is an FYP? I don't know what that is. For you page? Like on Twitter? I don't know. I don't use TikTok, so I have no idea what it would show up as that. Why don't you say your feed? <laughs> Just, I find that so weird. She has six kids. She's pregnant with her seventh. Stop talking about children! Oh my god. Why does every story involve her in mothers? So her, her husband. Huh? Cheese? Pasta? What, what are we getting out here? That's a big glob of cheese. So her and her husband. That's a, that's a big glob of cheese. Okay. How <laughs> about you just tell your story? And also, once again, this is just yet another thing of Chantal having nothing in her life. And it's now about to tell us about something she saw on TikTok. Again. Her six kids, they're pretty young. All of them young. Wow. And she's pregnant. All live, and they're from the US, I think. And they all live in a one bedroom. Wow. That sounds really irresponsible, actually. Where are we going with this? <laughs> Is this to do? Is this why she was making up that story earlier on about how she's cleaning her spare bedroom and it's so cluttered, guys? We're too busy moving things because it's so it's like Tetris in there. It's so cluttered in our household. I wish I could buy a cat tart, but I just don't have room. Is that why she's saying that? Is that why? Because like you know, you'd have people like me and reaction channels immediately jump on her for like a be her being a waste of space because she has apparently spare rooms full of just nonsense. Even though we do know fully that it is literally her bedroom. Is that why she did that? So then she could then rub, kind of rub it in that oh, there's a family who have seven children and there's a one bedroom. <laughs> is that why she's doing? It? I I feel like she's like a terrible enough person. That's why she's doing it. And all I see on the FYP. Are people hardcore judging this mother? Why this woman needs to have CPS called on her? Close your legs, stop having kids. Like comments like this. Oh my god, how terrible! And hey, remember the way you said, like I don't know, every single reaction channel who happens to be a mother like should lose their kids because they talk about you for an hour a day. Sometimes you know an hour every other day, but they should just lose their children. And how dare you talk about me? You're a mother. Uh, that all. I don't. Because there's always a game with Foodie. She always is trying to do something. Because these, like, fake stories are just fake 90% of the time for, like, no apparent reason. But, like, it's just so, so a couple days ago, she gets a lot of shit because she randomly goes after, you know, uh, Frenchie's mom and is talking about Frenchie's mom being worm food and everything like that. And how she doesn't care about her being dead. Like, why, why shouldn't they fucking go after her? And a lot of people came at her, obviously saying, like, 
you know, you should respect the dead. You're a Muslim. Muslims are meant to respect mothers because, like, mothers are super important in Islam and all. And then suddenly, the next video she's uploading is her be talking about moms in, like, a respectful way. Oh, all these awful people criticizing a mother. Is that, is that, is this the reason why? It's so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. The thing is, though, like... I just also, like, in stark contrast, it just so happens that after seeing this, you know, I went and checked out her video, and right after that, I scroll, and it's this mother and her three children. This is a 1.5. Look, firstly, I believe you, the fact you have to keep this, um, glance to the side for five seconds, a mother and her glance to the side for five seconds, uh, three children. Can we, no, this is 1.25, sweetheart, this is so slow. Living in a, in a, like, a, less than a shack. It's, you know, it was a family in Nigeria, a woman and her three kids. They were sleeping in a shack with two feet of water constantly on the ground. Were they? Were they really? Can, what, where, I just do not get where we're going with this. Especially when she says that and then immediately just stuffs food in her fucking face. Is this going to be like the cheese graveyard thing all over again? <laughs> what are we talking? It's stark contrast, guys. I saw this family in Nigeria. Point to Nigeria on the fucking map. Starving. No food. You say that with a mouthful of double lasagna. I'm not saying all Nigeria is like that, but there are par poor parts. Um, so, you know. I'm so, I'm so done with this story. I'm sorry, just a blank stare. Uh, you know, so... You, you know, I'm so done with this story. Like, what? She is making uh, uh, all of this shit suddenly. Like, where is this coming from? It's like, I'm assuming she's going to try and do this. Like, we should be grateful for what we have. I'm assuming we're going to go down that fucking road. And I have no idea why. Is it to try and show that she's super kind to mothers and people in the internet are judging, especially of her, because she's the nicest person ever? Or is it because, like I said, she's talking about how fill her house is and how small her house is earlier on suddenly out of nowhere during this? I don't know, I'm just, her weird, fake virtue signaling about how he's pretending to care about another life, which is just not something she usually does, not interested. I'm sitting here thinking, wow, that sure makes that one bedroom apartment look very, very, very good. What? Mm-hmm, yeah, schooled you guys, bet you don't want to be living in Nigeria. No, I, I don't, but I also wouldn't want to have seven children stuck in a small living room either are are you are you dumb <laughs> i can, can i think of any other words for that are you dumb like to, to, she realize it's not like a b testing it's not like there's literally yes or no answer it's like though it's binary it either has to be this or this that person in america can still be being massively irresponsible and negative to her children but yet yeah, is it be better than if they were living with seven people in a Nigerian flooded hut. Yeah, 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 it, it is. Like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry. It, this is the thing with Foodie Beauty, because Foodie Beauty obviously doesn't understand literally anything. Because remember the way she got on a treadmill once for like the first time in her entire life, and she immediately came out and was like, <laughs> bet you reaction channels can't walk for 1.9 kilometers per hour for 10 minutes. <laughs> I challenge you all. And literally everyone in the world was like, bro, that's literally nothing. But because Chantel is so stupid and so like sheltered and closed minded and doesn't know anything about anything, she actually thought she had gone from like a zero out of 10, you know, like totally unimpressive. She can't do a treadmill to now she was literally the benchmark 10 out of 10. Like literally no one can challenge her because girl world is all shit and I haven't seen you on a treadmill and that must mean none of you can actually get on a treadmill. That is how she actually thinks. And this is very clear proof that this is actually how she thinks that it is like a difference between, well, you're in America. So that's bad. Uh, it doesn't matter that you're being irresponsible and those ch children may be living in worse conditions because you're having so many children in a small apartment, but that you could be in Nigeria. It's like, yeah, you could say that about li any, any, anything. Oh, but F Foodie Beauty, you're dying right now. And you come on here and fucking cry constantly about reaction channels being mean to you online. It's like, well, you could be in Nigeria right now. So Foodie Beauty, you're not allowed to complain about it. There you go. I've, 
I've taken that right away from you. You're no longer allowed to complain about reaction channels because you could be being tortured to death in, um, I don't know, an ISIS prison camp in Iran. There you go. You, oh, so, shrug. Too bad. Too, you're not allowed, not allowed to complain about it anymore. Yeah, this is fucking weird. I'm probably going to skip this. More food. <laughs> you know. By the way. Yeah. It looks it looks like pasta under lasagna. Thanks. Yeah, I just skipped the whole thing because it was just her. It was just weird. It is just her virtue signaling about how dare people dare criticize this mother. The children seem happy and full of love. And it's like, you literally said people's children should be taken off them because they react to you. I, I, I don't know who the virtue signaling's for, if it's for her Beezers to try and distract from the fact that she is sitting here eating herself to death again on camera or what, but it's just real low energy. Anyway. Well, that just annoyed me. What do you guys think about that? I think- Comment, cut, can you, can you cut, can you comment below? Please, can you comment just for the, you know, just for the algorithm. We're just too spoiled to, you know, like. You're literally eating yourself to death here and you threw a temper tantrum because Salah wouldn't get you a diet soda one night and you threw the biggest fucking wobbler I have ever seen. But yeah, guys, some people are just too spoiled saying that there shouldn't be seven children stuck in a single room. <laughs> you spoiled Westerners. Now, please listen to me. Cry for four hours straight about how the donut shop is closed that sells the Simpsons donuts. I just say, like, stop having kids. Well, I don't know. I get that. Like, if you can't support the children, you shouldn't have them. But, I mean, you should still be allowed to procreate if you want to do that. You people usually find a way to survive. You know, it's challenging, but those kids seem very happy. You know, they were all playing games. Oh, they were playing a video game? Wow. Okay, never mind. They can't be being abused. I know I said I was going to skip it, but I was just staring, like, open mouth at that the entire time, being like, genuinely, what are you fucking talking about? Well, they should be allowed to breed as much, because, you know, it's a, they'll find a way. Imagine. Imagine. And she's the one talking about privilege. But she just assumes, ah, everything will make it. It's fine. What, 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 rent is X amount of mo a mo month, but you also need to pay for food, schooling, everything like that, and you only make Y? Oh. Oh, but it's, you, you'll find a way. You just will. I did shrug. I have no idea. I'm not going to help or anything like that or offer any solutions, but you'll, you'll, you'll probably find a way. It's fine. That is so, <laughs> it's so genuinely privileged that it's, it's something. It really is something. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to listen to her talk about this anymore. I'm just going to skip through this one the next time because this is insane. Okay. Yeah. I'm just skipping here. Well, I do find it funny that I skipped all the way to the end because I'm like, fuck, I'm bored. And yeah, like, see what I remember what I was talking about, about the whole like creepy blank stare into the camera was going I'm your mum you're my mum just over and over and over again that there you go we're actually fantastic <laughs> there it is and see this the little ah, face Julia's pulling that's the most perfect representation I have ever seen of that live stream uh yeah it was the rest of the video was just telling people they should check their privilege they're so privileged also it's disgusting how outraged people get over literally nothing that there's no issue with this whatsoever. Hell, what? Why do the kids need their own bedrooms? That's what. Why? Why? Why, why do you need that? Um, yeah, um, it's bizarre. And then she and then started just talking about how cheap her, her meal is and how incredible it is and how she could eat it every day. But 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 but, but I don't though. But I I I I don't though. And it was bizarre. And then complained that she's tired. And you're just sitting there like, bro. You literally just went from like complaining about people complaining online. Yes, that is something I get quite a lot where you see people like complaining to you about being compl about complaining. And it's one of the, especially as a negative reactor, you do get that one a lot. And it's one of, you just look at the comment every time you're like, can I react to that? Should I say anything to that? Because you kind of just want to hold the mirror up and be like, bro, come on. <laughs> but like, it's very much just Chantel telling people that they shouldn't be upset about something because it upsets her that they're upset about something. And the thing that people seem to be annoyed about is like, totally reasonable that the, a family who apparently can only afford a one bedroom apartment have too many kids and likely can't support them like i understand that i never looked into it so i don't know if the family even exists so i have no idea i have no real comment on it but it's certainly something she can't comment on because she genuinely doesn't know anything about anything 
And I still always remember that time when she was talking about moving to Kuwait and she was so fucking stupid. She didn't know how exchange rates work. Because remember the way it's like one Canadian, sorry, like four Canadian dollars to like one Kuwaiti dinar. And she genuinely thought that she was going to be making four times the money. She said like a, a month wage here could pay for four months there. Because she didn't know what exchange rate was and didn't know how it worked. So she thought if she moved to Kuwait, she would be making more money. I assume because she thought she suddenly was going to get paid in Kuwaiti dinar. So instead of her making, a, say, a thousand dollars per month, she was going to be making a thousand dinar per month. I assume that's the only way I can guess as to how she actually thought things worked. Um, so it always makes me think about that. So it's like when she's telling people, it's like maybe if you guys are looking at it from your privileged position, you know, with your closed minded, not very much worldview where you think everything's like North America. But when you look at the rest of the world and you really think it was like, bro, shut up. <laughs> you didn't even know how exchange rates work. You have no idea about literally anything. Can you please not try and skill anyone on fucking anything? You weirdo. <laughs> All right. That's going to be it guys. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.